heating up this afternoon, but the great conditions won't last that long. We've got three first alert weather days. We're keeping our eye on the weekend for this one. First alert meteorologist Patrick Pete is here tracking it all. Never too early to get prepared. Absolutely not. I thought about hopping in the pool today. It was so nice out there with it all is the that sunshine. Nice. Unfortunately, the weekend is not going to be the best time to do that. We're going to be tracking a big unsettled weather shift as we head into the weekend. Expecting it to be mainly dry as we head through the day tomorrow. We'll start to bump up those rain chances by Friday, but three first alert weather days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That doesn't mean that there won't be any dry time here, but because of that pattern, there will be the chance for some showers and some pop up opportunities, especially Sunday and Monday. Reasons to download the first alert weather app. Scan this QR code in the upper hand corner there, and that'll give you that hour by hour breakdown. And also we'll tell you whenever those storms are starting to fire up and tell you how far they are away from you. No need for that today. High pressure really in control. Sunny skies dominating the forecast. Temperatures have warmed up in comparison to where we were yesterday. On average, about 10 degrees warmer. Feeling pretty good. Selling into the 80s. 84 in Athens. We're at 83 here in Atlanta. 85 down in Thomaston. 86 over in Edenton. Even the upper 70s in the North Georgia Mountains. A gorgeous afternoon unfolding. Your wind down Wednesday forecast has temperatures gradually sliding into the mid 70s by around nine o'clock. So a good evening to be out on the patio. Temperatures fall to the low 60s under mostly clear skies tonight. Light breeze through the overnight. And we'll start off with some sunshine as we head into your Thursday. Some clouds out to the west. Can't roll out a stray sprinkle, but that rain chance really near 10% for your Thursday. I do expect it to be a mainly dry day. Temperatures in the mid 60s as you're walking into the office. Lunch break forecast houses in the low 80s. If you can find a nice table underneath the tree to be outside, really going to be a gorgeous afternoon to do that. But temperatures shouldn't into the upper 80s. One of the warmer forecasts of the year, 87 degrees by 5 o'clock. I think we're all going to be using that AC for the ride home. Clouds build in through the overnight and we're watching for a little bit of moisture to move into the area on Friday. Now, I do believe our best chance will be in the afternoon showers and some afternoon pop ups likely. Here's a look at the five o'clock hour and while everybody not under rain and thunderstorms, if you do run into one of these cells, it's going to slow down the road. So just be on guard. Once again, if you have the app, it'll tell you, hey, lightning's five miles away, eight miles away. Good way to know what you're going to run into. Meanwhile, trending a little bit drier through the overnight, but a first alert weather day for widespread rain on Saturday and then we'll see those pop up Sunday afternoon and then again on Monday. So that unsettled weather pattern takes us through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Three first alert weather days, unfortunately, dominating the weekend. We mentioned shaky knees and Cinco de Mayo celebrations and folks just want to be outside. You'll want that app handy as those storms fire up. Temperatures warming as we head towards the middle of next week, flirting with 90 by Wednesday.